it's Drew here from Drew's Crochet and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful hot air balloon. Now as you can see we've got the balloon, the basket with the guide ropes and the sweet little pig in the side. This is quite beautiful. Now if you want to know how to make the, all of this I'm going to show you in the next three videos. Now all you have to do is press the subscribe button down below and you'll get the videos immediately they come out. So the first one we're going to be looking at how to do the balloon. The next one will be looking at how to get the basket and the guide ropes pretty straight and so it stands up to the weight of the pig. And in the last one we'll get the little pig and make him. Okay, so if you're ready to do this, let's get started. The aim of these videos is to show you how to crochet this whole hot air balloon. So what I want to do is I'm going to show you what to do round by round basically. So we'll crochet together throughout the whole project. Starting with the balloon, we'll go round by round. I'll show you what to do in each round. Then you can pause the video, crochet that yourself, and then join me again for the next round. And that way, hopefully, we'll be able to do the, the whole balloon, the basket, and the little pig inside, and you'll have the most beautiful mobile at the end of it. Okay, so we're going to be looking at how to make the actual balloon shape in this video. We want to start off with your main colour, which we've chosen light green, and then we're going to alternate it with the white. And we're going to bring it out to make it into a nice shape of an actual hot air balloon. Okay, so the first thing we do is make a magic ring. Now, if you don't know how to do this, I'll do this slowly, but you can actually look at my other video on how to make a magic ring. Right, so what we do is take your two fingers, wrap the wall round to make an X shape, place the hook under the center and grab that top arm there and bring it under like that. Now secure the hook onto that ring by just doing a chain stitch there. And now all you have to do is place as many stitches as you want into the ring. Now for our balloon, we're going to do six stitches to start off with. So we're just going to do, here's one. They're just normal single crochet stitches. That's in American terminology. This will be two. Three, four, two more, five, and six. Okay, pretty easy so far. Now pull it so it closes, not too tight so you can't get your needle, your hook into the next the first stitch of the next round. Now for round two, what we want to do is we're going to increase in every stitch to make it into 12 stitches but we're also going to introduce the white colour. So what we want to do is, first of all, go into the first stitch and we want to increase in green in the first stitch. So it's simply going in twice into the same stitch. So that's one and the second one, two. But before we finish that stitch off, we want to introduce the white colour. Because every time you change colour in this crochet, if you if you start the colour you want to change to in the previous stitch, it makes a much better transition between the two colours. So all you have to do is grab your white wool, make a slip knot, which is make a circle, and then pull a looper through, and put that onto your hook. Okay. Now all you have to do is remember we haven't done the end of this stitch here. What we want to do is put get the white loop and bring that through instead. Now that's finished off that stitch but it's introduced the white wool into our balloon. Now we want to increase in the white wool in the next stitch. So we simply do one stitch and then a second stitch into the same stitch. And again because we're alternating between the green and the white, now we want to go back to the green. So we don't finish off that last stitch in white, we finish it off by pulling a green through. So now we've got the green ready to go again. So we've got, in the first stitch we did two green, the next one we did two white, 
We want to do two green in the next stitch because we're alternating between the colours. So that's one stitch, two, bring up the first loop, then change over to the white. Because then we can start off the next colour because we want to do white again. Okay, so that's three we've done. We're doing white, so we've done two, four, six. This will be seven and eight. Seven. Increase in the same stitch, but finish off in the green. Okay. This will be stitch eight. Now we want to do two stitches in the green. One. Bring it through, but don't finish off, change back to the white and bring that through. That's 10, and we want to do it one last time in the white to get 12 stitches for our second round. So that's one. Don't finish off because we're looking forward to the next round, which we're going to be starting off in the green. So we change it back to the green colour. Okay, now I know that's quite a lot to take in for the second round. But if we pull it tight, you can see now that we've started off the alternating colours and we can start for round three to start off with the green where we want to increase to 18 stitches in this round. Now, if we're thinking, we're thinking about the front obviously, but at this point you've also got to think about the back. Now, as you can see, if you're not careful, I'll bring that up to the camera a bit. If you don't start to integrate these stitches, these pieces of wool into the stitches, it's going to pull the whole balloon out of shape. In fact, I can just see it. I made one. <laughs> made one earlier to quote a famous kids program. Now you see this. This is a blue and white one. But if you turn over on purpose, I didn't put the stitches inside as I crocheted round. And as you can see, as you pull it to, wool is starting to pull it so one it doesn't it pulls it out of shape and two when you stuff it you can't get the nice balloon shape to it along, along the top so it's really simple all you have to do is integrate the wool that you aren't using into the stitch behind it's ever so simple so we're looking at round three where we're going to increase to 18 stitches round now we're at the beginning of the row here the round and you might want to put a stitch marker in just so you know where we are so when we come round again you know you've got the right amount of stitches. So what we're looking at we're going to do increase in the first stitch and then do the last one the next stitch as a normal single crochet. So we're going to go in to the first stitch but if you just remember about what I said about the back all we have to do to integrate the white wool into the stitches, just make sure it's over the back of the, the hook. Then you just do a normal single crochet, like so, and then get that out of the way. You see that's starting then to be put inside it. So we're going to increase in this stitch. Make sure every time you go through to the back that the wool that you're not using, the thread you're not using, is over the over the hook. As you pull through the wool that you are using. And that's, that's two. Then the next stitch will just be a normal single crochet. Hmm. Remember the wool, I forgot then. Pull that through, but because we are now going to change into the white wool, you want to make sure that the end of that stitch is in the white wool. Like so. So therefore we've just increased there in the green wool. Now we're going to do the same with the white wool but this time at the back we're going to make sure that the green wool is over the hook. So you're going to increase in that first stitch, put your green wool over the back and it's it's tiresome but you soon get used to it and then it will just be a matter of course to do it then. So white wool, increase in this stitch, one, two, then the next stitch we want to go again, but this time we're going to be changing to the green wool at the end of it. So you just use the green wool instead. And you can see that as you carry on, because we've got the two pieces of wool going round at the same time, it's a lot easier to keep switching between the two colours. 
So now we want to go for the green wool again. And we're going to do this all the way round until we get back to the stitch marker. And I'll meet you back there for round four. Okay, so we've just finished round three when we've increased to 18 stitches around. And as you can see, we're getting a nice pattern starting with the different parts. And on the back, it's not such a frenzy because after there, we've now started to put the white and the green into the stitch. Right, the next row is going to be the same we're going to keep on increasing but this time we're increasing to 24 stitches so in this first see those three stitches there we're going to make those four so we're going to do a single crochet an increase stitch and then another single crochet and then we're going to do the same six times all the way around till we get to 24. We've got the stitch marker again so if you need it just put it in there and carry on like that. Okay, so we're going to go green, like we should. Green, put the white over the back to make sure you've got it in, inside the stitch, and then just one single crochet into the next one, which is going to be our increasing stitch. That's two, three, and then we go into the last stitch of the green, this bit, pull it up and then change to the white. Okay, just like that. Now you might find, as you're carrying on and you're having to switch the colors each time, that all your wool gets a bit tangled. It's very simple. You can either do it with the balls of wool or you just switch your crochet round and that will get rid of all the tangles like that. It's a lot easier sometimes. And if you do that regularly at the end of each round or near the beginning, you'll be okay. Okay, so we're still on increasing to 24 stitches all the way around. We've done four. We're going to carry on with the white now. So we go into the first white stitch there. It's just going to be a single crochet. Make sure you've got the green behind. Next one is your increasing stitch. And the next one will be the final stitch of that white in this bit. And then we change to green before we finish the stitch. Okay, so we're going to do that all the way round again, and I'll meet you back again when we get to the stitch marker for the next round. So this is the start of the fifth round, and in this round we're going to be increasing each portion to five stitches. So last one we did four, and so it came to 24 the way round. This time we're going to do each green, white, green, white to five stitches. So put the stitch marker in again and we're going to start off with green as we always do this is the fifth round remember okay so we're going to do two single crochets we're going to increase in the next one and the last stitch of that color will be a single crochet again so into the first one single crochet member to get the white over the back like so. Just makes it easier at the end. Right, so there you've got the single crochet. That's one. Next one is a single crochet with the white again. That's two. The next one will be the increasing stitch to make that into five. So three and four. And the last stitch in that will be green to begin with, but because we're swapping over to white, we finish the stitch off with the white. And again, we'll do the same again with the white section now. So keep the green behind. So we're going to do one single crochet. The next one's a single crochet. Our next stitch will be the increasing stitch. Um, Increasing stitch there, one and two. And the next stitch, the last one in this white segment, will be white and then we change to green. And we're going to carry on doing that, increasing in the same way, all the way around until we get to the stitch marker again. And I'll see you back there for the next round. Okay, for round six, we're going to be doing the same thing again. We're going to increase. So each segment, or green segment here, 
will be six stitches instead of five. So get your stitch marker, place it at the beginning again, with the first bit will be in the green. So get it all ready. And what we're going to do is we're going to do three single crochets, one increasing stitch, and then a single crochet at the end. So we'll carry into the first one. Make sure you've got the white behind. So that's one, two, three. Now we want to do our increasing stitch. Four, five, and then the final stitch in the green section, you bring it through and finish it off with the white, leaving six stitches. As we go round, we're going to do that all the way round, that will bring us to having 36 stitches at the end of this row. So, we do it again now with the white, make sure you've got the green in the right place behind. So we're going to go one, two, three single crochets, then we're going to increase in the next stitch, one, two, and remember in the final stitch it's a single crochet but you swap over the final yarn over into the other colour green. Okay, so we're going to do that all the way round until we come back to the stitch marker and I'll see you for the next round when we increase to 42. This is round seven and we're going to be increasing each of our segments to seven stitches. Okay, all the way round. Now to keep it a nice, can you see? To keep it a nice round shape, we want to increase near the beginning of our segment instead of at the end. So in this time, we're gonna do going to be green again obviously, keep the white behind, the stitch marker in the right place, All right. but this time we want to do one single crochet to begin with, then we're going to be increasing and then we'll finish off with single crochets to the end of the segment. So, so we'll do our one single crochet here, like that, then we'll do our increasing stitch, one, two, and the remaining, remaining four stitches in this green section here is going to be single crochet, one, two, three, and the last one of this section, remember to finish off in the white for the next section along. Now the reason that we're doing that is because you see it will give the shape a more rounded effect because if you carry on increasing near the end of the section it will just become more bumpy and become actually more hexagonal than round. So that's why we're increasing near the beginning of this section and not the end. So let's do this again with the white section here. Make sure we got enough wool and we'll keep our green behind, so we do one single crochet, one increase, and then four single crochet to the end of this white section. Now I'm sure you know what we're going to say next. <laughs> Finish it off with the green. Now then as you can see, all we need to do are these next four sections and I'll meet you back at the end when we get back to there for round number eight. Okay so we're back to the stitch marker. Now for the next round, round eight, we're going to be making each of our sections into eight stitches. So what we're going to be doing is three single crochets, one increase and then another three single crochets in each of the different colour sections all the way around. So as ever we start off with the green, make sure your stitch mark is there and your white is placed behind so you can easily incorporate it into the stitch. And so we're going to do 
one single crochet like so do one then two three the next stitch will be your increasing stitch for this section that will be one and two in the same stitch and then finish off with three more single crochets okay and always remember to switch the colors at the end all right do that now with the white one as well keep the green behind you can see as it's getting larger it's getting a lot easier to keep the, the threads in place behind to be quite honest with you so we're going to do three single crochets that's one two and three the next stitch will be the increasing stitch one and two in the same stitch and then three single crochets one two and on the last single crochet, always remember to swap over the colours. Okay, so that is round eight. And I'll meet you again when we've done all the way around and got back to the stitch marker. So round number nine, this is going to be our last increasing round. So what we're going to do is put our stitch marker in, start with the green as ever, Make sure your white is behind and what we're going to do is we're going to do one single crochet then we're going to do the increasing stitch and then do the next six single crochets until we get to the white section. So one single crochet, next one is our increasing one so that's two in the same stitch there. Make sure you still got the white behind all the time. And now we're just going to do six single crochets to finish this green section off. That's three, four, five, and the last one. Remember to get ready to pass over to the white and you just yarn over with the white ready for the next section. Now we're going to do that again with the white one. Again, it's going to be one single crochet, one increasing stitch, and then six single crochet. This, as I already said, this is our last increasing round, so this is as big as our balloon is going to get at the top. So, one single crochet, the increasing stitch if you think when you've got your your different color behind and at one stage you can see it poke through can you see that it's you can actually see the color don't worry about it just pull that thread behind and it will right itself doesn't mean to say you have to undo the stitch or anything like that it will just right itself if you pull hard behind that was our increasing stitch now we do six single crochet it's one and again pull it I'm hurrying a bit. Let us see you there. That's two, three, four, five, and our last stitch in this section. Pull through and then yarn over with the green. Okay then. So that's the beginning of our ninth round there. We want to go all the way round, right back round to the stitch marker. And when you get round there, I'll be ready to show you what to do next. So, once you finish row nine, this is what you should have. Just at the moment, it's a flat disc, but it's going to be quite nice on the back side. And on the front, it's going to look a bit like that. Now, for the next eight rows, we are going to just carry on 
no increasing, we're just going to S single crochet all the way round, still going with the same colours. So we're going to do nine green, nine white, nine green, and so on for the next eight rows. So that's row 10 to 17. It's just going to be like we've been doing all the way around, but just no increasing. So we put in the stitch marker, place the white wool behind. You still want to integrate the wool into the stitch. And now all you do is just carry on round. So that's nine green stitches. And still remember to change over the wall before you actually get to the white section. The only difference is we're not increasing anymore because we want to start getting the balloon shape now and to go down the sides. Very, very easy from now on. That's seven, that's eight, and this last stitch in our green section. Remember to change the wool over to the white. And there we go. Now, just carry on all the way round. And once you get to the, set, to the stitch marker, that will be one round. You need to do that until you get to the end of round 17. And when you do, I'll meet you back here and we'll see what we've got. Okay, so having finished row 17, you should now have the top of the balloon. Can you see that? The top of the balloon with all the colours still following where they should be. Now we get take out our stitch marker, put it in in readiness for row 18, round 18. Now this is where we want to start decreasing. So each section, instead of having nine stitches, which we've got at the moment, we want to decrease it by one, so it's got eight stitches. So in, instead of having 54 stitches all the way around, we're going to reduce it to 48. And this is how we're going to shape the balloon towards the end. So starting with the green again, we're going to single crochet three, Make sure you get the white behind and stitch marker in place. So we'll single crochet three, then we'll decrease one, which is very simple. So that's one, two, and the third one, like that. And then we'll just take the front loops of the next two stitches, like that, to make sure the white goes under. The hook goes under the white at the back. Just bring it through like you would a normal single crochet and then you've decreased one. Now we just want to single crochet the rest of the, red, of the green wool. That's one, two, three, and the last one, the fourth one, we're going to finish off with the white. Okay? We'll do that again now with the white one. So put the green behind. Okay, and with the white wool, do three single crochet. That's one, two, and three. Now we want to invisibly decrease in the next two stitches. So you take the front loops of the next two stitches Make sure the green wool is over the hook and then just bring it through like you would a normal single crochet. Easy. And then do last four as a single, single crochet each. And you just carry on doing that all the way round until we get back to the stitch marker. And I'll meet you back there. So having just finished row 18, which decreased the amount of stitches we have, row 19 is very simple. It's a simple crochet around again, because we're going to start now trying to get a tapering effect for the balloon. So all we do is simply crochet round, single crochet round, as we have been before. So get your stitch marker in the right place, starting with the green. We want to get the white wool behind and we simply single crochet. 
Now we've reduced each section now to eight stitches. So it will be a simple matter of crocheting eight stitches, swapping over the wool to the white and then back again. And I'll meet you when we get back to the stitch marker in redness for row 20. So round 20 is another decreasing round. So that simply means that each section here, the green, the white and the green, we're going to reduce from eight stitches down to seven. So all we need to do is get your stitch marker, place it at the beginning of the round, Place the white wall behind so you can integrate it into the stitch still. And all we have to do is simply single crochet one, two, three. Then we invisibly decrease, which is taking the front loop for the next two stitches. And then just simply single crochet those together, just like that. And then for the last three, single crochet. One and two. And the last one in the green, three. Still remembering to end that last stitch with the white wool. So when we start off with the white section, we've already got the white wool in place. So we want to decrease all the way round and I'll meet you for the next round when we're back to the stitch marker. O21 is another easy round. It's just simply single crocheting all the way around again. We've now reduced each section to seven crochet stitches. So all you have to do, keep true to the colors that we put all the way through in the balloon and just simply single crochet until you come round back to the stitch marker. And I'll meet you back here for row 22. This round is again a decreasing round. So we're simply going to get each section from seven stitches down to six. So we'll single crochet the first two stitches, then decrease in the next two stitches, and in the final we'll, three stitches we'll just single crochet them. So having your stitch marker in place, the white wool behind, Grab the green wool and simply single crochet, first two, one, and then the next one, two. Then we'll invisibly decrease the next stitch. That's front loop for the next two stitches. Crochet those together. And then the final three stitches are just simple single crochets. And we're going to do that again in each of the separate segments. So we should have at the end of the row 36 stitches. Uh -huh. And remember to cross over to the white. Okay, so by the time we go all the way around back to the stitch marker, we'll have reduced from 42 to 36. And I'll meet you back the next round. Okay, so we're back round at the stitch marker, having just decreased our stitches from 42 to 36, all the way round. Now, this row again is just to help the balloon take its tapering shape at the bottom. So this is simply going round, single crochet all the way round, but keeping in with the colours. So once again, Take your stitch marker, place it in the right place so we know where we're going to for the end of the round. And with your green wool, simply single crochet the green section, remembering to keep the white behind and keep it all in line. So, single crochet, this is the first one. It's only six in each section now, so it's getting really quite easy. One, two, and we're going to keep on doing this pattern of 
decreasing a stitch in each section and then single crochet crocheting all the way around for a couple of more times until the actual balloon shape is quite apparent and then all we have to do is stuff the balloon and put the bottom on it and that will be our balloon shape done. Now as you can see that's our six single crochet there. We started with the white to go onto the white section and we just simply single crochet all the way around and I'll meet you back there when we get to the stitch marker again. So round 24 is another decreasing round where we take our six stitches in each section down to five. It's very simple that we've been doing every time before. We want to put the stitch marker in at the beginning, get the white wool at the back, take the green wool and all we want to do is single crochet two stitches, decrease in the next stitch and then single crochet two stitches giving us five stitches. So that's one, two, remember take the front loops of the next two stitches and then simply crochet them together and then another single crochet there and the last stitch single crochet and remember to swap the colour over at the end. Simples and that is reduced it down to five. Do that in each section all the way around and I'll meet you back here for round 25. Okay, next round. We've just finished the decreasing round, so this one will simply be crocheting all the way around till we get back again. So each segment has got five stitches in it now, so it's getting very easy. So all we have to do, make sure your stitch mark is in place, put the white wool behind, get the green wool, and just single crochet across. So that's one, two, three. The only thing you have to remember on this round is to change the colour of the wool on the last stitch of each section. So green and change to white. And then obviously when you've got white change it back to green. So just simply single crochet all the way around and I'll meet you back here for the final decreasing round. Okay then, now this is row 26. And this is our last decreasing round when we're going to take our row around from 30 stitches down to 24. Simply means in each segment we're going to take it from 5 stitches down to 4. Now as you know you've been with me the whole of the video it's very simple to do this. We're just going to do two single crochets then we're going to decrease one and then finish off that section with one single crochet and then remember to change over the wool at the end. But when we've done that round you simply want to do another single crochet round just to get the nice long tapering effect. And then all we need to do, I'll come back to you when we stuff the balloon. So let's just do this one first of all. We want to get our stitch marker in the right place, make sure the white is behind like it has been for the whole balloon and we simply we want to single crochet two so one two then decrease in the next stitch take the front loop from the next two stitches and crochet those together and then the last stitch single crochet and change to the white. There and we do that all the way round as before and when you get back to the stitch marker the next round is just a simple single crochet round because that will give us our final bit of tapering for the balloon and when you've done those two rounds I'll meet you back here to show you stuffing of the balloon. So now we've finished all the actual crochet for the balloon. We want to finish off the, cut the ropes, cut the wall there, 
pull that through. Now the easiest way I find to finish it off is just to tie a knot for the two because we can push this inside when we're actually finished at the end. Right, so tie that and push that in. Now just normal stuffing, stuff it as full as you can but because we've spent all that time putting all the, the wool behind it each time and making sure it's all neat inside, we're going to get a really nice balloon shape. You see it's coming now. But keep, it's quite a bit, we'll go in it. <laughs> Don't worry about that. But keep on stuffing it. Now, when we have actually filled the balloon, which we're getting near there now, make sure it's the shape that you want. Like, squeeze it, make sure it's the right way. That's out of the way. And when you're happy with the shape, then take some white wool and simply crochet a ring. Again, start with magic ring with six, six stitches in it and increase it in each round. Just do the six times table. So increase it to 12, then 18, and then 24 because that will then fit perfectly just inside and you can leave a long tail and you can sew that in when you finish stuffing. If you like these videos, please subscribe down below and I'll see you in the next one.